<laughs> should I do Meha? the Should I do the three Mehos? Or do we have four now? Oh yeah, four. Four is it? The there may be a fifth, but we there have, may be a fifth one. You have three. Oh, oh, there's there's five. There's five. Yeah, because the the first Miho, I'm a heavy set Latina woman, middle age, coming home. <laughs> Miho is my young son. I'm in love. I adore him. Put him up on a pedestal. And I come home, <laughs> and it's I, I went out to the supermarket to buy some uh, cactus and horchata. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a funny word. Yeah. I'm listening to the story, but yeah. horchata's a funny <laughs> it word. It is funny. Please continue. And I come <laughs> home, and it's one of these things where I left at like 4.30 in the afternoon. The sun was low, you know what I'm saying? And I come home, and it's dark inside the house. It's still not quite dark outside, but it's dark inside. Why were no lights flicked on? Somebody taking a nap upstairs, perhaps? <laughs> I come through. I'm going to make a Miho's favorite horchata and cactus stew tonight. <laughs> so I come, I come horchata, <laughs> cactus, and pinata stew tonight. So I come through the door, and I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Miho! <laughs> I'm feeling good. I love my Miho. My man left, you know. Yeah, he used to use, use me for a punching bag. Never a speed bag. You guys never seem to have that kind of hand speed, you know what I mean? Always body work, you know? Never, put it, put it, put it, put it, you know what I mean? Never that rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, but he used me, used me for a punching bag. <laughs> he didn't use me for a double-ended ma- bag or the focus mitts or that medicine ball thing, you know? Mm-hmm. But it was a punching bag he used me for. Uh-huh. And, but I have my Miho now. And that, you know what? I'm never, I'm not sorry I ever hooked up with Carlos. You want to know why? Miho? Because I have Miho. <laughs> he used me as a speed, I mean, a punching bag. But now I have Miho. Mm-hmm. So I go upstairs. <laughs> By the way, again, it's a good story, but so far, Horchata and the mm-hmm, mm-hmm. are the great parts. <laughs> and uh, I feel like their own affirmation sound. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, I do. Anyway. Yeah, it is. So I go up the stairs looking for Mio. Maybe maybe he's taking a uh, siesta. That's a, that's what we call a nap. And I go upstairs, but it's dark. And and there's something in the air. Something's you know off. I mean? A mother knows. You know, the mother always said they knew something was wrong, but don't sure. you feel like they thought something was wrong every time they entered the house and then this is the one time? You know what I mean? They usually just walk in, the kid's watching Spongebob, so they don't remember that time they thought something was wrong. But I thought something was wrong. So they always think something's wrong, but they're never right, except this time. What happened? Well, this time I walked up the stairs thinking something was wrong. Uh A mother knows. (laughs) And now I queried once again, but this time with a certain degree of trepidation in my voice. (laughs) Meha? Knowing where he is. Wow. Then... I walked to the end of the hall. Still Were there dark. any sounds in the house? Just, just the creaking of the floorboards. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and the beating of the, the, the telltale chupacabra <laughs> under the floorboards. <laughs> the telltale? What is that? Like the Ch- chupacata? Uh, chupacabra. 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 Goat sucker. Means <laughs> goat sucker. Loosely translated. <laughs> the door was open a crack. Tighten up the translation a little. Is it, is goat, it goat, goat sucker? Oh, goat okay. sucker. Push the door open, uh-huh. and now you have to understand the POV is on me, still holding the groceries. Sure. Still holding groceries. God forbid I'd set them down b- below the 40 stairs I just went up. You know, If something's wrong, you don't want to risk you, the groceries, right. too. Yeah, you just go, you're so <laughs> distracted that you're still carrying the groceries. I'm sorry, POV is just his feet swinging. Oh. And on me, up on me. That's right. Just this, that, and in slow motion, eggs. Hitting oh, there's eggs, around. too. Huevos. Hitting the ground, leche milk. Hitting the ground, <laughs> hitting the ground, exploding as I crumble, as I crumble <laughs> down into the into the mire of leche and huevos. You know what I mean? Just arroz cry. This. My, my, yeah, my te- arroz con tears. Just, just, la just, just, yes, yeah, just my tears mixing in with this stream that's now flowing down the stairs of eggs and leche and my tears. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now the four. Oh, I, oh sorry. Wait, I fell to my knees. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. So powerful. I fell to my knees. And the third Miho came out. Miho! <laughs> and then we cut to the outside of the house with the birds flying away. But somewhere else in town. Now, do you have a shot, a cutaway now on the last Miho as it rings, almost reverberates, even though it's out, 
out in the air of a guy at a bus stop reading a paper, looking up, thinking he heard something, mm -hmm. but then shrugging oh. it off saying, nah, couldn't be. We'll put that in. We'll get <laughs> that in. Now, the fourth me, ho. Uh -huh. I'm at the uh, funeral. And I'm black with the black veil over me and the whole nine yards. And there's the open casket with my Miho in there wearing the suit he wore for his uh, high school graduation. And I just, uh, you know, I put, put my hand on his heart and I say, Miho. That's the fourth Miho. Mm -hmm. And then, and then <laughs> later, later, years later, we do that thing where it's like, like two years later, you know, down. I'm uh, once again coming home from the uh, market uh, this time. Mm -hmm. It's a nice day. Sun is shining. And I see a young Latin boy go by me on you know, was pr presumably a stolen bicycle. And he goes past me. And I, it's stupid math. And, <laughs> and I look, I, 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 I look at him and I, and, and I see, I see in him for that one moment, a young Miho on a stolen Schwinn. <laughs> and I just say, Miho. Hmm. Yeah, that's the five mijos. I have a sixth one. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have a sixth mijo for you. What? Two years after that, uh huh. <laughs> she comes home again. Uh-huh. Really, just scars healed over. Can't still be happy, mm -hmm. but it's all healed over at least. Same bag of grocery, same ingredients mm -hmm. as that fateful Deo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... She walks in, and she comes into the kitchen, hears something, and gets scared, walks in. It is Miho, alive, sitting at the table, just grinning, grinning at her playfully, and she drops the bags again, but puts both hands on her hips and says in a scolding way, Miho. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Come on! No, no, that's what happens. But we then cut to a hospital room with the oh, yeah. thing flatlining. Oh. That's her. That's Miho calling her home, and bringing her home. Oh, so it's all occurs in her mind. Yeah, yeah, it's taking her home. Wow, uh, wow. 